Foxy! Okay, guy, where'll it be? I'm gonna need, uh, 24 bucks, bud. Thanks, kid. Now that's a fancy elevator. It looks sleek and brand new. You take the piece of paper. You score the tank of helium. Hey, how come you're always alone when you get in my cab? Just drive. That'll be 16 bucks, please. Thanks, kid. Apples, apples, apples for sale. Get your fresh apples here, only one dollar. The bouncer takes the pass and scrutinizes it as closely as his overhanging brow will let him. Hmm. You're Rabbi Cornswig? Um, of course. Okay. Welcome to Club 69. Thank you. Shalom. Right this way. The music in here is loud enough to kill the herpes. The crowd in back is an impenetrable mass of throbbing humanity, but the vibe up front is casual and inviting. rather let her arms do the talking for both of us. Excuse me? Sorry, that wasn't supposed to be out loud. Hey Toots, my name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Say Larry, is that a Pez dispenser in your pocket? Or are you just lonely? They're not mutually exclusive. So, uh, what's your name, beautiful? Fawn. Somehow you knew that. I'd really like to get to know you better, Fawn. Just what kind of girl are you? I'm just a girl who can't say no. All right, Larry, this is what you've been waiting for. To nice presents. Oops. How about we get out there on the dance floor, fool around a little? And we could dance some, too. I'm not sure, Larry. You see, I like a particular kind of man. And I don't know if you're the particular kind of man who ends up getting a particular kind of woman like me. I'm not sure I follow you. 
Ooh, she's resisting gently. It's a come on. Keep going, Larry. If anybody can screw this up, you can. What if I take you away from here, Fawn? To someplace quiet. We could go to my place. Assuming you had a place. That sounds fun. Just as long as you're not cheap. I prefer men with means. Means? What kind of means? I like what any woman likes, Larry. I like flowers. I like sweets. I like jewelry. Can you get me those things, Larry? Can you get me everything I need to feel luxurious? And free, and totally ready to give you everything you've always dreamed of. Everything? And more. You see, I'll do anything for the right man, Larry. Anything. Are you the right man, Larry? Are you going to be the right man for me tonight? Oh my. She certainly has you standing at attention. Could Fawn be the one, Larry? Your one-way ticket to fulfillment. Okay, baby. I'll be back soon. With presents. Oh, Larry. I just love roses. Oh, Larry. I just love candy! Oh, Larry, I just love diamonds! Oh, Larry, I just love your presence! Dance with me, you adorable fool! goes wild. Larry, that was incredible. I've never done that with a man before. It was so exhilarating. Are you as turned on as I am? Always. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope. Then my answer is yes. Oh, God, yes. Yes, Larry, I will. You will what? Why, marry you, of course. After all, I could never be with a man who wasn't my husband. Only if we were together in the eyes of the entire world could I really give myself to you completely, utterly, heart, soul, and body. <laughs> I'll also need $200 to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Phallus. I'll wait for you here. Once you've got the money, we'll rush over to the wedding ready. And at long last, we can be husband and wife. Holy cow, Larry. It looks like your dreams are about to come true. You give Fawn your wallet. All right. Two hundred dollars. Thank you, my sweet. I'm going to the casino right now to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesars. Then I'll meet you at the wedding ready next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. Fawn hands you back your wallet, $200 lighter, and rushes off. Congratulations, Larry. You're one step closer to connubial bliss. Enjoy your evening, sir or madam. He's overcome with sorrow at your departure. He's not saying it in words so much, but you can really tell from his expression. Taxi! You again? Oh, Sal and Dispatch must be playing a nasty trick on me. And 
then that'll be 22 bucks, Mac. Thanks, kid. What you doing? Just hanging out. The chapel is cool and placid inside. The lilting classical music and softly flickering candles give the room an air of serene, peaceful redundancy. In fact, it absolutely stinks of tranquility in here. Fawn is standing at the ready at the end of the room. Next to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. We do have one little thing to take care of, though. It's $100 for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. The decorations are extra? If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, no decorations? No, no, leave them up. I'll... I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. After all, how often does a man who isn't Larry King get married? Hot dog! Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Finally! You all settle into basic position. A hush falls over the players at home. Merely beloved. Sorry, let me restart that. Merely beloved. Jim? <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. You know how I get. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this main and this woman. Blah, 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 blah. Do you, Lance Lassiter, take this woman? It's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? I thought you said... Just go. Do you, Larry... Larry Laffer, take this woman? Blah, blah. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I... I do. Do you, Fawn Forschwanger... Forschwanger? Take this man to be... To be your blah, 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 honor and comfort and bail? Right. I mean, I do. You've got the ring. I have to have another ring? No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then by the power invested in me, Jimmy Ted hereby declares you done and done. Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time again. <laughs> um. Employees only, I'm sure y'all understand. Fawn throws her arms around you and almost kisses you. Oh, Larry, isn't it romantic? What's she talking about? Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon, sweet Larry. Ready to give you my all, my everything, my very soul. Don't keep me waiting. I can't wait to take advantage of you. She's not done with that yet? Well, congratulations, Larry. You're a married man. Time to get over to the honeymoon suite and hang a sign on the door. Gone consummating. You step into the elevator and look at the fine selection of floors. Is that you, Larry? Larry. It sure is, baby. Come on in. I'm ready for you. You walk into the honeymoon suite. Your blushing bride is waiting for you. Hello, Larry. You're here at last. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. Excellent! Larry, we're married. 
married now. No more talk. No more dancing. It's time for you and me to consummate. I just need some music or something. You know, let's make the mood even more perfect. Technically, that's not possible. Shut up. I mean, don't be that way, oopsie poopsie. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. Jeez, why can't they make a radio that gets stations at all these little numbers? We'll be back to our commercial-free four-hour Barbara Streisand Marathon after this commercial message. I don't understand that. How many times has this happened to you? You've just gotten married, and you forgot to get the perfect bottle of wine for your honeymoon. Don't ask the hotel to send up their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. Don't settle for trashy, boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all, and you'll end up in a fiery crash. Don't let that happen to you. Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere, anytime, in five minutes or less. How do we do it? That's what I'd like to know. Simple. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. That doesn't answer the question. So call now, 555-8039. That's 555-8039. Liquor quick with Snappy Liquors. And now, back to more Barbara. Fawn turns off the radio. I thought you wanted music. Larry, wine would be even better than music. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Please? It'll make everything absolutely perfect for our, you know, canubial joining. That's so romantic. Right away, dearest. It's good to be back on solid ground. Please call your dentist and tell him he's not doing enough. What the hell have you been eating? Rotten corpse with 40 cloves of garlic? Where am I taking you now? That'll be an even 20. Thanks, kid. You pick up the phone, and to your delight, you get a dial tone. This thing must be set to free play. Snappy Liquor Delivery, we deliver liquor in a snapper. Yes, I just heard your ad on the radio, and I'd like to purchase some fine wine. Where do you want it delivered? The Honeymoon Suite at Caesar's Palace, please, and step on it. All of our fine wines have been stepped on, sir. That's why they're fine. Oh, very sophisticated. And your order has been processed. We'll send one of our hottest young men immediately. Thanks for calling. What did he mean, hottest? What the hell have you been eating? Rotten corpse with 40 cloves of garlic? That leisure suit really helping you get the girls, huh? Don't ask.
lucky 21, pal. Fork it over. Thanks, kid. Oh, that's lethal. for you. Oh, Larry, it's you. I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. Hmm, what does she mean by that? Oh well, you decide to let it pass. After all, this is your wedding night. Sweetest reward. The sun is gonna surely shine. Now use those three words every young woman in love longs to hear. How about now? Yes, Larry. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Goody! Are you relaxed, my love? Yes! Are you ready for me? Yes! Oh, yes! Then... Let's get ready to rumble! Come on, Matt! It doesn't bend that way! Get out of the way! You're a slippery little thing, aren't you? What happened? That was great for me. How was it for you? Uh, is that it? That's it. Thanks for everything, Lance. It's Larry! Thanks for the ring, the candy, the money, the this, the that, the contents of your wallet. You did forget to pay me for the wine. No! I left you a few bucks. I'm not totally heartless. Just mostly. And thanks for the wine and... Oops! <laughs> you got me monologuing. See you later, sucker. Fawn? Sweetheart? A lesser man would be torn to shreds by this turn of events. But not you, Larry. You've got optimism. You've got resilience. You've got to find a way out of here. Very clever, Larry. You managed to work your knife out of your pants and use it to slice the bungees until... Well done, Larry. You're free. You quickly dress. Now you're feeling ready to go back out and conquer the world. Again. The cheap knife broke in the process, so you dispose of it as any responsible gamer would do. You dispose of the cord you cut through and save the other three for some sort of demented shenanigans. 